Good morning. This morning I'm going to show you how to set up the shortcut keys. And that includes changing a few of the shortcut keys that are already assigned, as well as assigning some that are not assigned. We'll start by looking at the default keys. In the write-up that accompanies this tutorial, I showed you how to access the quick reference card for SketchUp. There are two halves of that. One shows you the tool icons and the shortcut keys next to it. And the second half shows you each of the tools and the shortcut keys, as well as a little description of the operations that accompany those uh, shortcut keys. I'm going to use this house that I designed in SketchUp as sort of the vehicle, just to show you a few things. Okay, let's get started. Let's look under the Window menu, Preferences, Shortcut Keys. And if I go over to this area here and just use the down arrow key to look at a few of these, you'll notice that the Camera Igloo or Camera Image Igloo command is assigned the I. Some of the commands have no shortcut keys assigned. Still others have some fairly complex series of keys assigned like the control plus shift plus E, shift plus Z. What I want to do this morning is show you how to assign a key to a plugin, in this case my plugin, the extended entity info. E is already assigned, so I'm going to use an X for extended. We're going to assign the F key to the front view and the I key to the ISO view. The front view and ISO view are views that I use a lot, so that makes sense. So with this little dialog box in front of us, I'll show you how to do that. First of all, let's go to the Extended Entity Info tool which you'll find under the window menu. So I'll scroll down to Window and find Extended Entity Info. I simply type an X, small character, no capital, in here and then hit the Add. And now it has assigned, assigned the X to the window Extended Entity Info command. Let's continue. Let's take the uh, front view, which I'll find. Uh, let's see, they'll probably find those under camera. Camera. Standard views front. And I'm going to assign that the F key. So I type F and hit add. It says F is currently assigned to the offset tool. Would you like to reassign F to the camera standard views front? I don't use the offset tool a lot. So when I want the offset tool, I'm more than willing to use the icon, the tool icon. So I say yes. And the last thing I want to do is I want to assign the ISO view, which is right here, the I key. And again, I just type I in here and say add. And it says ISO is used for camera image igloo, which I never use. So for sure, I want to assign that to ISO. Okay. Now that I've done that, I should be able to hit the X key, which I'll do right now on my keyboard. And voila, up comes the extended entity info box. By the way, this is a box that uh, if you click on a component like this rafter, it will tell you what it's made out of. Dimension lumber 2 by 12. And it'll give you other uh, pieces of information about it. But that's a different tutorial for a different day. All right, so let's close this. And now if I want to look at the front view here, I can simply type F. And there I go. That's the front view. And if I type I, I get the ISO view back. So there you go. It's as simple as that. And uh, you can go through and assign all of the unassigned keys to whatever it is you wish. And the keys that are already assigned, you might choose to reassign. Customize your keyboard and have fun.
Okay, until the next tutorial, or until the next blog at least, I'll see you. Have a good week.